What's going on, explorers? Brandon Abandon, Six Four Explorer, exploring Third Back Stickland. I've got an amazing spot for you guys today. This is like half a time capsule, we'll say. Bunch of the rooms are empty, but a bunch of them have stuff in them and it's all set up. There's pictures, movies, books, even this really cool lantern right here. So I know you guys are gonna love this house. I got my jacket on because it's starting to get that time of year now, but I'm excited about this place. Let's just jump right in there. Let's get exploring. Check out a bit of the property here. We got a big old barn. We got a little uh, garage right there. I'll do a little scan, peek around, and see what's there. If it's worth filming, we will film it. But it's been, it looked a little empty. This place is quite busy, the street that it's on. So I want to stay out of view as long as I can. So I'll be doing all that stuff at the end. And if it's worth it, we'll check it out. Turn the light on right away in here. Look at this beautiful kitchen. By beautiful, I mean decayed and paint falling down. Still a little bit of stuff left. The table's still in the middle of the room. We got some mold. That's not always the best, but look how crazy. Oh, I've already got a spider attached to my, my camera. So let's not go too close to the walls, but like look at the giant bugs and everything that are caught in that window. That's, ooh. Hey, that's just nothing but webs and horrible. And now I've got one floating around in here. Hopefully it's not attached to me. Yeah, check that out, eh? The ship's wheel. That's really cool. That's very cool. It's still got the lights and everything on there. It hasn't been smashed. That's another thing about this place is it's quite far out of the way. So there's not going to be any vandalism. It's not near the city, so there's not going to be any spray paint or... Like anybody smashing holes in the walls just cuz. Very cool. And just a lonely old shovel sitting there. The tiles are all popping up and crusty when you step on them. I duck my head under there. Look out, look at that. That's at least 16 inches. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I like that. And some wood here. I'll show you a little peek. Like, look at that. Stuff left all over. But we're going to go this way first. Just a, just a tease. We got the nice bathroom here. And another thing, if you notice, so the kitchen, see how you can see the ceilings maybe a foot higher than the door when you come into this side it's about three feet higher than the door i'll show you show you like this see ceiling door <laughs> ceiling and door even in the bathroom the bathroom's real high i'd say the bathroom's actually even higher than the living room probably goes let's say eight feet to 11 feet to about 15 feet. That's awesome. Now the classic old pink toilet. Sometimes that helps, helps to date the house. And that beautiful like lime green tile. Let me turn this off, maybe it'll show it a little bit better, yeah. See that? We're gonna keep the light on just to get rid of shadows and look at all this. It's weird that it's in the bathroom, but I guess somebody just set it up on on here because it was higher. Even under here, we've got the marriage picture. Looks like the guy was in the army for sure. The size of that moose. Out on a, out on a runway with a plane in the snow. 
Now all these papers here, I'm not gonna go through them. Like that's BDO, right? So what's that? Credit and yeah. That stuff we don't need to go through. We've got the curtains still up on a really tall window. And then the shower here. At least, at least they made it not so high of a ceiling in there so you feel a little bit cozier. But all the pink, it all matches. We'll scan this way one more time. Back to the roof. Or sorry, the, the wall. Yeah, and just BDO stuff. We don't need to know the guy's personal information. And into this room even. <laughs> Official member, North American Fishing Club. Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. I'm making a difference. Member 94.95. That's pretty cool. We got another one here. I guess we could probably see them with the light off. Yeah. That way you could read them a little bit. Anglers and Hunters, 60 years. A nice glass cabinets. Confederation pledge. Get the glare out of the way so you can all read that. Very cool. So he was a hunter, as you could tell by the picture of him with the giant moose. Let's see, now we'll turn the light back on, get rid of shadows. I'll turn it down a little bit so it's not too bright. But check this out here. Holy. Behind me. We got a bed set up still. Everything but the blankets. <laughs> and those look like towels being set up as, as pillows. Really cool old light here. <laughs> With like a six foot cord. No, we'll say four and a half feet, maybe five. But all the old colors too, to the sheets and to the towels. Look at that picture there. That's amazing. 1800s pictures. Oh, look at that, he caught a bear. Yeah, a family of hunters. And what else is around the room? We've got... The curtains are still up. Nice wallpaper. Got a couple boxes of some information. I doubt there's going to be anything going on in these. Oh, I was wrong. Oh. ID tags and cards. We got some books. I guess that's soap. Yeah. Hoops, honey, but it's got to be soap instead. Look at that. Let's turn this light way down for a minute. Look at all the old paper, all the old cuttings, things that he thought were important to save in an old, an old rusted tin. I'm not going to go pulling anything out because it's going to be way too hard to get the stuff back in there. And I like, I like how it's all still nice and neat. We're going to leave it at that. Leave it like that. Got a book from 93. It almost looks like some of yeah, Like he's got a lot of written. He's written all over the. Look how cool this is. Can we get a date? 1972. 1972. This is a... <laughs> a program sold for 50 cents. Price was 48. 
Provincial tax, two cents. Time writ. We got a horse. So this is a program for a horse racing track. All your horses, who they're racing against, you got all your odds. And you've got who he picked. You want a number two in this one, number three in that one. Well, that's awesome. And he's got so many here that this is, this has got to be his whole, a whole lot of his bets. Maybe the whole time he was there. Wow. He's got a deck of cards. Oh, this has food stuff in it, as you can see. Ooh. Just your fats, your meats, your vegetables, your dairies. That's pretty cool. A little book with phone numbers. Numbers, phone numbers. Uh, yep, yeah. well, the times and dates, maybe. Just a record log for business. I'm not going to look at those papers, but look at that. Passion fashion. That's really cool. He kept this one page. <laughs> it looks like it's out of a dirty magazine. Big groovy catalog, free with order. Too bad I can't find the date, but those are some outfits. Hello. And let's check the last one since we're here. So we got here, oh, a cockatoo. Yeah, yeah. That one's looking at like a beach. Maybe pictures down in Florida. Their vacation pictures. That's really cool. I'm going to put them back in so that they stay nice. Very cool. And that's what all these are going to be. Each one of these boxes. Well, we won't go opening them. But each one of the boxes are going to be filled. Filled with pictures. Well, that's really cool. I love to see that. And some more personal info that we don't need to worry about. Look at this room. Is that not awesome? What a cool house. What a really cool find. So we're going to head from here and keep going. We've got our front door. Those, those drapes are starting to look a little worse for wear. Real nice old light with the porcelain and the glass. This is beautiful. Now I thought there was going to be stairs here, but it's not. It's just a, just a closet. But with nice big wood trim all the way around. I wouldn't call that wainscoting yet. I don't think it's that big, but it's definitely huge wood trim. Now look at this. This is awesome. Like so cool. We're going to start on one side and work our way around. We just got some bins. That's not too crazy. But we've still got the curtains are up. All the cracking and stuff going on with the paint. This old wood doesn't really match the house. Everything else has been real nice. We got grape bottles. Just a bag. Recyclables. It's been kept clean afterwards too, which is really cool. We got an awesome little fireplace with a bunch of cassettes. Yep. Victoria Dawn. What's in these little things here? Well, we got some golf tees. We got those little padded things you put on the 
uh, foot of your chair so it doesn't scratch the ground. That's a nice little heavy duty fireplace to be in here. And I guess here is probably the only little bit of vandalism. Somebody smashed this window. I guess that, oh, I guess that was the first point of entry. Yeah, look, and then I'm guessing they smashed that window over there to get in or to reach the door. This window to get inside. When I showed up, just I went right to the back door, not even this door, and it was open, so they must have opened every door for anybody that's coming by. But again, sometimes that's not such a bad thing because then explorers like me that are here to do good end up showing up. Look at this. The Weinsman and Company, Patent Toronto, trademark. It works. It works and it's beautiful. Cobwebs starting to take it over from the wall. Again here, tons of VHSs. Alaskan bush people. <laughs> so when was that show out? But we don't know when these tapes were in here. Ninth volume of something. Yeah, they're all full. Somebody just decided to pull a few out. World of Collector Cars. Very cool. Mirror images. But it's sad. Oh, sorry, I'm stepping on that glass again. <laughs> There's no, uh, there's no VCR, no TV. It's a whole lot of movies. Nice old 70s chair. Is that earlier? Is that 60s? Let me know. Put an age with that chair for me. This way I can start to remember a bit more. Let's see. Possibly. Nope. Surprise, there's been stuff in a bunch of the other ones. Big old batteries. You look at the size of that. And did you see how this thing just angled and turned? Like it follows my hand and... So I'm learning this gimbal. It's pretty neat. It's cool. I do like it. More VHS's. The couch to match the chair. And what do we got going on here? What kind of a book is this? Hoof Beats. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I've never heard of Hoof Beats. 1979. From there we've got... Oh, come on, Gimbal. Cooperate. Margaret Trudeau. Hopefully she's not bad as, just, as bad as Justin Trudeau. I hate that guy. I'm pretty sure everybody in this world does. Popular mechanics, do it yourself. <laughs> big bum, the story of Brett Hanover. I don't want to know about Brett Hanover's big bum. <laughs> Born to trot. Hanover. For some weird reason, I think I've heard of that one. Here's like an old, an old magazine, still in its wrapper. What's this one? Chopped Topped Issue, Rod Customs. 75 cents, 1973. Like that's awesome. Like that's super cool. I'm so happy that these things are up here where nobody's going to to ruin them. Only what sucks is, I guess, maybe after what's going to happen during this winter time, right? Now that this place is open, more rod customs. I like how a bunch of them are still in those sleeves. 
bunch of horse books. A long abandoned for longer than a year. This says 18. So <laughs> it's definitely been abandoned for longer than a year. Let's make these all look nice again. But not I don't know. Been abandoned for a while. <laughs> Is that not awesome? Tatler 73. School books. Graduation books. Senior description. That's really cool. But I guess when we got ours, right, you get all your friends to sign sign the book all over, but I'm not seeing any signatures anywhere. Maybe that wasn't a thing back then. 75, 73, 76, 77, 74. So from 73 to 77, that's a long time to be in high school, no? <laughs> Maybe uh maybe a public school too high school or they just had different years then. Nice mirror. It's a bird if you notice that. And then as we're walking around, we get back to the kitchen, the upstairs. Huh, here's the kitchen. That's the bathroom. And we're gonna make our way upstairs. I like the yellow carpet. But I even like the way that they had the stairs painted before. But it probably gets cold out here. Out in the middle of nowhere. Because I'm quite cold. Look at the beautiful wood. See, no vandalism. The wood's still there. <laughs> Look at this. It's beautiful. Let me turn the light off right up here. See how it goes. Is that just wallpaper? Yeah. <laughs> Brick wallpaper. Coat hangers hanging up on the on the fan. A nice red carpet, sloped ceiling. Somebody took the door handle, so they must have been the nice, the nice crystal ones. This is a very like comfy house. I like it how you walk around the stairs to get into the rooms. Look at this room. Sheets and everything still set up. Wow. Bug spray, duct tape. No wonder. Signs of a squatter? <laughs> no, but I'm going to say it every video probably. That's really nice. It matches the walls in the bed. Nice, nice big door. Again, really high ceilings. Different lights in each room. Beautiful wood trim all the way around. The floor is getting quite slanted now. You can feel it as you're walking. You can't really see it. You just got an empty, an empty closet there. Somebody's got the carpet all messed up trying to get in. Yeah, oh, would have been your bathroom. It's big. It's quite big. And we got the stucco in the wood. The plaster in the wood, I should say. The nice tiles. Toilet's still there. Looks like somebody's used it. <laughs> oh, look at that. The Forbidden Room, 35 cents. An original novel, not a reprint. That's a, it's a gold medal book. Be gentle. Nineteen fifty two. Copyright nineteen fifty two. 
and no other dates. So yeah, that is an original. Then we got Cult Priest Daughter. I almost felt like I was picking up two books. Oh, Peak in Place. This one's 75 cents. And with the other stuff downstairs, right? He likes a lot of erotic, erotic novels. Ooh, whoever these were. Girl in the middle. She doesn't look too happy. And nothing in the little wooden drawer. I like this bathroom. Those books just gave it life. That's amazing. Really, really cool. Just a big empty room. Curved. <laughs> this ceiling's been done more recently with these little weird tiles. That's strange. But you got to imagine, somebody's probably been living in here in the early 2000s. That would be the best guess. So upstairs was cool. This little area here. The books in the bathroom. This room still done up. And it smells nice in here. It still actually smells like a decent place. It's not gross. Well, I guess that's because it's clean as well. I wanted to show you guys as I was walking down the stairs, all of a sudden something caught my eye as I was turning my flashlight up and down. Look at the size of this cobweb. That, like my head is I'm looking like this. So I would definitely be walking through that thing probably right around nose level. That's messed up. We're gonna duck right down to get underneath that and meet you guys at the basement so it's kind of weird i guess this is the back of the house technically because the front is that door on the opposite side of those stairs so it is the back of the house that door leads out but it's just it's the kitchen area so it seems weird that this would be where your basement is <laughs> i always laugh when doors open that way on the stairs so it's just floating Maybe it's just a me thing, or maybe it's because I'm in a construction thing. Oh, God. That's tiny. It almost looks like... Okay, it looked like snow and ice at first. But I was going to say, it ain't that cold yet. It's still just in October. But it, uh, it is cold. It's only about five out today. That's pretty cool looking. Almost like a dungeon. What's up? Big basement. That could be a bag of soap. <laughs> because it smells like soap. Like crazy. Old shelf. Looks like it might have gotten wet. I can imagine this place. This place flooding. Look at the brick. The brick walls turning into dust on the ground. You're going to want to be careful while you're in here. When I was walking up on the property, there was a, a pole down. A hydro pole going across the lawn. Pretty much right like five feet from the front door. Well, back door. And there was wires coming off it, so I wasn't sure. It had me nervous, but now that I see all that's cut. I know the house doesn't have power, but I'm still actually a little nervous about if that pole has power outside. I'm just going to walk far away from it and hope I can still get my outside pics for you guys. In a little video. That's cool. Real old weathered bottle. Doesn't look like it has any name on it. That's just for pirate rum. The window's open. 
So, yeah, look, and the rust is way up there. I guess this place slightly floods a little bit in the winter, summertime, when there's lots of rain. Too bad, though. It's a beautiful little basement. I actually enjoyed it. If I didn't have to duck the whole time, it'd be lovely. So, that wasn't too bad. I actually enjoyed it. And the way this looks here is cool. All right, see, so this is the door that I went into. If you look, there's cable right by the front door. It goes up there. But look, the pole's right here. Here's your electrical pole. And like the wire, and the little connections up there. So remember everybody, when you're out exploring, just make sure to stay safe. Watch your surroundings, check where you're walking. So we're at this little hut. Big old spider web. But it's a cool little area here. We can duck a bit under it just to see what's going on. Get out of the cold wind for a minute too. That's kind of nice. Just a little, just a little, um, little maintenance shed, little area that he can come out to and not have to go far to get everything he needs. So open up that little door that just made that noise behind me. And it leads to the end of the barn. Was that a cat? Must have been the way it was running. But we're not going to walk under here. Because everything's bowing and doesn't look the best. And I'm tall, I don't want to be touching anything. Might as well go upstairs and check it out first. But just so you could see. Just for horses, or uh, cows, little spots to feed. Alright, so I got to the barn and I'll show you. It's empty, it's dangerous, but it's still, it's big, it's beautiful. They got the little built areas over there. I'm sure they're going to be empty, the whole place is empty. So I hope you guys don't mind me not risking walking around. We've seen how bad the bottom floor was from underneath. And it just, it doesn't look good. It's holes everywhere, it's bent. All right, so I made it out to this little garage. It appears as though it might be a little bit more than just a garage. We got some food right off of the bat. Expiry dates 2022, but I don't know how long those perishable goods stay. But if they're expiring this year, then they've probably been around for at least three or four. A nice horse picture there. Another nice horse picture there. It's warmer in here than it is in the house. Oh, this is for the fan. This was for his favorite horses. That's what's going on here. The other barn, that was for just the ton of horses. And this little garage looking area. This was for his favorite horses, the special ones, maybe the girls. Yeah, look at this. We got pasta and pasta sauce. Expires 2024. A bunch of honeycomb cereal. Peanut butter, it's been eaten from. <laughs> and all those. Ah, maybe, yeah. I'd say this is definitely like after the fact squatter stuff. More than likely. Or maybe just they had a bunch of people coming up here for horses and they ended up needing a ton of food and just stashed it in here. A bunch of supplies, some food cookers. Canadian Pacing Derby. 2022 standoffs. But this is all garbage. Like a lot of this stuff's all used food. Cooking books. 
and a whole bunch of pop. So I don't know. I'm not sure what to say about all this stuff. You guys, write down in the comments what you guys think. What's all this food doing out in the barn? Was this somebody squatting? Again, it is warmer in this barn than it is in the house. But maybe he stayed in the house for a bit and kept the food out here. I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. Please leave it in the comments. Let me know. All right, Explorer. So we got some good light in here. So I'm going to do the end video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this place. What a beautiful house. What a beautiful spot. Like no vandalism, no spray paint, no destruction. Just things left behind where they were. Beautiful, clean. I absolutely love this place. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. I know it's a few days past, but still, I know you guys all enjoyed your food. Like it, subscribe it, share it, comment. Thank you for your love, for your support. Check out the videos that are going to pop up here. And I'll catch you all on the next Explore. Ciao for now. Oh, oh, oh. Hey.